We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The Red Wings have won the draw, and we are now underway. Takes the feed from the left side. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Tippett's carrying it ahead. And uses the length of the stick to knock that puck away. Moves it quickly over to York. Here he is on the backhand. Playing big in the moment there. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Sets it down low. And that's intercepted by the D. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. No room for that one to get through. Here's a shot. Quick stop by Hart. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. And there's the save. They are swarming around like bees here in the Ozone. Skating with it. Big time collision there. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Takes the shot. Detroit's got the puck. Slides the puck over to Larkin. Detroit's on the attack. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. An easy save by Husso. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We're still scoreless. Comfers won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Detroit's moving it up the ice. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Here's a short pass to Hall. Battling for it along the boards. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Husso's going to hang on for a whistle. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Cates is quick on the draw. Zamula's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Sprong's been nabbed for tripping. Here's a first look at the power play. First power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. Taken by Sanheim. Quick shot, denied by the goaltender. And they continue to apply pressure here. Puck slid down the ice. Directed over to Couturier. The Flyers gain control of it. Quick shot, and he easily stops that one. Quick pass to Couturier. Here he is, shot right in front. That opportunity is rejected. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Passes over to Sandheim. Moves it to connect me. Oh, he'll feel that one. Oh, stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Puck clears the zone. And now it's to Kate. Sprongs, penalty is almost expired. Penalty has expired. You've got to give the shorthand and give it a lot of credit there. Denies that opportunity. Power plays dictate games, and this one did not. And the coach will not be happy with the setup or the opportunity that this unit gave them. Here's a shot, and that's turned aside by Hart. And he moves the puck back inside his own end. Takes it from the right side. We got a stoppage, let's get the call. Forster's actions, pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Man advantage unit is set. Scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert, move that puck quickly, and open up lanes. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Quick feed to Sealer. Philadelphia's in now. Great poke by Sealer. 
And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Oh, he got hit by a freight train there. What a collision. Club save, and he handles it with ease. Larkins ready to take the draw here on this power play. Detroit's won the draw. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop by Hart. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Hart is known around the league for being solid between the pipes. He'll look to live up to that reputation. Larkin's foot speed can make him dangerous, and that's his wheel zone ability. I'm excited to see these players compete and give their team the edge. Now back to you. The Red Wings look to start the transition game. Along the half wall with the puck. And there's the save! Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Gets it out of his own end. One last rush here on this power play. Grabbed along the board by Perron. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. The Red Wings get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Well, everyone is up. The coach knows exactly what the PK unit had to do, and they got out there, they were responsible, and they took care of business. Now he takes it over the line. for the goal. My opinion, these are the types of goals that eventually win championships. The hard-nosed playing, the grit and the tenacity to fight for those rebounds. It ain't pretty, but it gets the job done. The Flyers have finally opened the scoring here in the first and not a moment too soon. This has been a bit of a defensive juggernaut, James. We've been waiting for a goal call all game long, and yeah. they finally get it. And what this does will give them some confidence heading into the intermission. Can't keep a hold of it. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, that's a huge stop by Husso. Moves it quickly over to Dabrinkit. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Pass it up ahead. Great reach with the poke check by Hall. Picked up along the boards by Hathaway. Shot in front. A chance. Blocked in front. Slides it across to Sarnik. Solid hit on the play. minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. It's time for our hammer bonanza. If the whole team scores in the next two minutes, you can get a Both teams back on the ice. They're lined up and period number two is about ready to go. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Both goaltenders playing with a ton of confidence, James, and the uh, players are going to have to figure out how to squeak one by. I think there needs to be more net front presence. They're seeing everything tonight. It's only one nothing. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. York stick handling in his own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Up along the wing. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Centering P. Oh, the stick, and they can't complete the play. Into the attacking area from the left side. Here's a short pass to Dabrinkit. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. Takes the feed. Konechny's got the puck through the neutral zone. On the attack along the boards. Glove save somehow got a piece of it. Angles it over to Raymond. Solid check to slow him down. Moves inside. Trapper saved, didn't get all of it, but still enough. Hart's able to deny that scoring chance right from the slot area, James. That's a beautiful one. And here we go, buckle up.
and drops the hammer on that one. Yeah, the clear winner as that final punch perfectly executed and a tough one on the other end. You can see that they're still out of breath after that duo, that back and forth action, and they'll just sit for five minutes, get some much needed rest as fighting, it can be exhausting. All right, both teams back at the face-off circle after the dust finally settles on that, Donnie Brook. Detroit's won the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. The Flyers have it from their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. They put the puck into the offensive end. Slides it over with pace to Comper. And he loses control here. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. And somehow he hangs on. Let's get the call. Well, the official was right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. The Flyers send their man advantage unit out once more. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Quick pass to Lawton. Carries it across the line. Detroit's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And they send it down the ice. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Hasn't been a very good one so far. Haven't even registered a shot. The tough negated entry. They're going to have to find a way to get in and get set up. Moves it to Rasmussen. Scooped up along the wall by Tippett. And makes the save. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face-off. Cops want a big draw on their own end. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. The Flyers have it now. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Picked up along the wall by Petrie. And they manage to clear it. Slides it diagonally to Atkinson. And now he moves it to Cates. Power play is over, both teams back to even strength. Well, the only good thing about that power play unit was they got in zone and got set up, but you can have all the possession time in the world, but if it doesn't generate opportunity, it means nothing. The Flyers take it along the wing. The Red Wings take possession in the defensive end. Dished on over to Raymond. Quick feed to Forster. Puts it on net. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Huso's helping his team with his rebound control and really keeping the puck away from the front of the net and cleaning up the trash. Let's move to the middle! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Well past the midway mark of this period, we got a 1-0 game to this point. Detroit's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Dabrinkit. The Red Wings are across the line and into the offensive end. Philadelphia's in transition. Shot! Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Rasmussen's lugging the puck. Detroit's got it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Larkin. Here's a shot! And he stakes that one with the club. Here in the late goings of the period, the Flyers have taken a 1-0 lead. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Flyers continue to put lots of pucks on net here, and they lead it late in the second. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Atkinson. Fires it on net. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. 
Huso's been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced, and his save percentage is an indicator of it. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Here's a shot. Glove save. Trying to get back on the attack now. Pushes it across to Valeno. to play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. If you'd like to rub shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our next Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Red Wings are getting goalie, James, and this can be so frustrating. You're putting a ton of shots to net. You're getting great scoring chances, but you just can't find the back of the net. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Now a quick pass to Atkinson. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Keep it out! What a blocker stop by Husso! Slick feed. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. Takes a bump but hangs on. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he takes a shot and makes the save. Moves the puck across to Comper. Philadelphia is looking to break out of their own end. Works it across to Konechny. Here's a shot! Husso's got the puck, and he's gonna slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period, it's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision, it's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and coach can get the right personnel out there. Handles the pass. Detroit's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Steps inside the attacking zone, down the left wing. And now he angles it across to Frost. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Frost so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Flyers lead it 1-0. Philadelphia's won the draw. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Grabs the puck behind the net. And now it's grabbed by Frost. Philadelphia's looking to break out. Fires it into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Sprong. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Flyers have been relentless in the offensive zone tonight and they continue to lead in the third. The Red Wings win it. Tries it to the crease. Oh, and he just puts it wide in the net. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Detroit's gained possession. The Red Wings will play it from the defensive zone. Sends the pass in front. Performance change. He's been dialed in. He's been at the top of his crease, but he is not gonna be happy because the goose egg it is over as he lets one by. 
The Red Wings have scratched and clawed their way to making this a tie game here at a critical point in the third. That's critical timing, James. The bench just erupts with that equalizer. And listen, you score a goal like this often, you put your opponent on their heels because they knew they had the game within reach. Now it's a much different story. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Petrie. Here's a short pass to Sarnik. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Dropped him in the open ice. Philadelphia's on the attack. Shot. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Taken along the wall by Fisher. Loses his balance on the play. Quick pass across to Atkinson. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Check in with our own Carlin Babe. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Larkin's got my vote here tonight, guys. I know he hasn't recorded any points, but I still like how he's competed and stayed engaged. Detroit's got the puck here in the open ice. Quick feed down low. Handles the pass behind the cage. Here's a chance behind the net. Oh, and that hit right off his mask. Hooked away in the neutral zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Moves it around along the half wall. Philadelphia's grabbed a hold of the puck. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Forster. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Moves it to the middle. Picked off in front. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. And he gets just enough to keep it out. Sends it quickly to Samola. Well, there you go. 60 minutes has been played out and still no winner. So we go to sudden death overtime. Lock in, folks, because this should be electric. Stay with us. And we are just moments away from overtime. Sudden death overtime is underway. And he slides it quickly to the brinket. And he takes the pass. Larkin's got on the offensive end. He's got a chance to win it here. Get stopped and play continues. Oh, he had the game on his stick, James. He wants that opportunity again, but instead, they play on. Stones him in front. Puck grabbed by Konechny. Moves it to York. The Flyers will play it in their own end. Here they come on the rush. Denies him in front. York's pass was so difficult, G. Oh, this looks dangerous. Slides it across. Off it. A stick save and crushes the rock. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Quick pass over to Faraby. The Flyers looking against the half wall. Oh, it goes off the inside of the post. He's got a little jump. He's in the clear. Stones him on the breakaway. Passes on over to Raymond. The Flyers, the game on the line. In on a breakaway. Stopped and will play on. So frustrated at that he wanted to be the hero and convert in overtime, James. Instead, you see the frustration on him. We've played three periods, we've played overtime, and still nothing settled. We're off to a shootout next. A lot of people lament the shootout, but look at this place right now. Crowd, and he says, uh-uh, on that play. Yeah, on the shootout, he's confident and composed. You don't see him moving around in his crease. Just makes himself as big as possible. Looks really efficient. Score! 
right now. Well, that bonus point is still up for grabs here for either. Scores! My goodness, there was some hot sauce on that shot. That's called a snipe in the game, James. Just recognizing that the goaltender's deep in the crease and just bearing it home. It's known for some big moments. He needs another one right here because of his that stop that will do it for this one. A hard fought victory, and it goes right down to the wire. Great night of action on the ice, and I can't wait to do it again. I know you can't wait either, so we'll see you next time, and real soon at that.